quite a lot of you waited. Thank you very much. I'm quite flattered. Right, okay, so... I have promised the Hell Kitty that um, I would uh, do a bit more of the... Um, the 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 uh, ugh, words I would do a bit more of the the train track out to um, the Mesa. Hello and thank you very much, Shitty. Um, hope your iPad doesn't give you any more troubles. Um, all right, and uh, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to clear out my inventory a wee bit. Um. And then we're going to pop over to the nether and start laying some more stone and some more track. I want to get that out to um, 800 squares as quickly as I can. And I'm not doing that well at the moment, so I don't want any jungle wood. What do you want any dirt? That can go into the bin. Um, I don't want those bones. Let's put those away. Oh, good. I've got more than a stack of bones again now. That stone can come with me. That iron needs to stay. Don't need gunpowder. Don't really need ender pearls, but I'll take them with me nonetheless. Uh, I might as well take those potions of fire resistance with me just in case. Right, let's get stuff sorted out. So I want those powered rails, and I want those rails. I don't really need those leads. Got rid of all that stuff. I must have had two stacks of it. Okay. And what else do I want or not want? Okay, that stone with me. Oh, okay, that did. Let's get out of it. What's the click? What's that clicking? Um, just let me grab some junk. It's my waste disposal system here okay so if I drop anything into this chest I've got to really not want it anymore and it slowly well, it gets taken out um, fed through a hopper underneath this and just basically gets dropped into a hole until it times out yeah I'm so, um, it's very hard for me to um, to do stuff when everybody's on let's get rid of this uh, no let's keep the iron armor for now the military doesn't matter. Um, but at the moment I'm a bit unemployed and to be totally honest with you, I'm a totally and utterly bored. I have been this week, mostly because I've not had anyone to talk to, so, uh, you guys are going to be, uh, my replacement. Oh, actually, while I'm thinking about it, before I go anywhere, sorry, just having out a second. I'm going to tell, uh, old Twitch that I'm no longer playing Don't Starve, I'm in fact playing Minecraft. There we go. Alright, there we go. Okay, so back to it. Let's get out of here. Chat up again. <laughs> well, to be totally honest, that'll do. I'm just, uh, I like playing with redstone. Um, the other. The other one with um, I did with um, did for the Hell Kitty actually has a pool of lava at the bottom with it, so stuff gets dropped into the pool of lava and is instantly destroyed. But I actually like the idea that I can panic someone in the next five minutes and uh, um, basically tunnel everything out again. Doing some experience with um, street lamps, and uh, I've got to be honest with you. Okay, these come on only at night, but I really don't like them. One or two on their own is fine, but uh, lots of them together is really quite annoying. So I think I'm pretty much back to the drawing board on that one. Uh, um, so, okay, let's get out of here. This is where the Christmas tree is going to be if we build one. Right next to the Greek Pantheon, of course. Well, where else would you put a Christmas tree? So, right. Yeah, so... What was that jumping up and down in the water? Right, well, I think this is proof that Darwin is correct, to be totally honest with you. Right, Darwin is correct and is quite happily living in a Minecraft world because this world doesn't have any seagulls. 
So the chickens have evolved to fill the gap. Ladies and gentlemen, a chicken girl. And they're all, all related to the ones I let loose in one of my first um, uh, live streams. When I took apart, there used to be a, a chicken factory here, which I took apart. I let all the chickens go. And since then, we've had nothing but chickens in this area. Right, okay. Oh, KGB Boris, hello. Um, how are you doing, Mr. and Mrs. Nugget? Oh, I see you're starting a family in there. Excellent. <laughs> okay, where are we at? All right, we're working this way. And I've got some of this built. As you can see, let's just take a run down here. I'm going to have to run back, but uh, give you guys a chance to have a look in. And I've actually made the fir the first open air bridge area as well, which is a little bit... Oh, you can see where it's coming in now. Um, so this open area area is done. And this is basically where I'm going to want to build on. So we are at... Oh, we're at an, an X of 40. We actually need to get an X of 800. Yeah, actually, I did. And I will show you guys later on if I remember. So we've got a lot of digging to do. And it's all in that direction. So let's get cracking. Right, so yeah, I'm afraid this is going to be a little bit boring to start off with. I need to concentrate a little bit because um, otherwise I'm going to plunge to my death in lava or something equally funny. But uh, if you guys want to carry on chatting, uh, yeah, I made one for Ted the other day as well, but I did it off camera, so I will show you guys later on if you like. But uh, while we're at it, let's get this stuff work worked out. So let's uh, sort of tunnel down here a little bit. Got to keep an eye open for plunging holes like that one, which I completely missed. So actually, while I'm thinking about it, I don't need pumpkin pie on my toolbar. I need potion to fire resistance. Let's go. Oh, let's get this done. Oh, quartz, excellent, because I'm running out of that stuff. Right, okay. Um, how far do I want to do this? Okay, I actually want to do, I think I'm just going to do for now up to this point here. So we get all that drilled out and laid out and whatever out. And then we'll do the bridge if we've got a bit of time. What breed are they? They're just dogs. There's only one type of dog in Minecraft and it's the type that goes woof. Which, to be totally on, to be totally honest with you, if you think that there's three types of cat, what we've done is basically proven that Notch is a cat lover. Come on, let's get some set. Well, it's, it's, it's things like more monsters, if you remember rightly, that gives you more mobs. I don't know if it gives you more dogs, but it would be nice if it did. Can I hear any lava? No, it was just that one block. Yeah. The Hellcat and I are actually, Hellkitty and I are actually, uh, at the moment, it, we've. We found a jungle and I made a we made a path out through it to it through the nether. And we're at the moment uh, currently looking for some new pets to be honest with you. We're looking for cats. I want to put a cat into the library because it chases away creepers and I don't want to put a door on that place. 
And I'm absolutely terrified at the thought that one day I'm going to go in there and I'm going to hear, this place looks interesting. <laughs> we'll name it Lord Flashheart. Wonderful. Well, in, in which case, I'd have to name the other one Bob, you know, short for Kate. And I'd be spending the rest of my life explaining it, this this joke repeatedly to the uh, the Turkish and the uh, Romanian and, and well, even the American members of the, uh, the server. And that would just be painful. Will the cat stay there? Well, with the application of a post and a, a leash, yes, most likely. The other thing I'm doing at the moment is I'm, I'm, I want to start putting a lot of underground lights in. And what I'm doing is I'm using jack-o'-lanterns, putting down jack-o'-lanterns, and... Oh! Go away! Kate, short for Bob. Yes, it's a very, very old Blackadder joke. Okay, and by very, very old Blackadder joke, I mean... This Blackadder was uh, a comedy that was made when I was in my early teens, okay? So well over 20 years ago. So quite frankly, it's older than most of you. So I don't blame any of you in the slightest for not hearing of it. But if you are, if you like the sort of the dry British humour, I would strongly recommend you go and look it up. Right, okay, you gotta die. You're gonna be nothing but a pain, aren't you? Come on. Here, yeah, ghasty, 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 ghasty. Here, yeah, ghasty, ghasty, ghasty. I've got a present for you. Oh, now you decide to go away. I'll sod you then. Okay, where was I? Yeah, recommend you look it up. Because it is well worth it. Um, um, main character is played by Rowan Atkinson, who was uh, Mr. Bean, which you guys might more likely remember, and person who, incidentally, I shared a geography teacher with. We didn't go to the same school, or even within the same decade, but uh, we had the same geography teacher. Yeah, that's my claim to fame. I had the same geography teacher as Mr. Bean. Right, nearly there. Um, so this one has to be one higher. We're going to have very little plummeting to our deaths now, and uh, it's safe to proceed with a little bit more speed. Excellent. I'm already full. I'm already full. Uh, let's pick up any quartz. No, so let's go back and get some of that quartz. Well, it sounds yeah uh, uh, background the sounds that sound the ones that sound like pigs are a pigman and the ones that sound like whining babies are gusts and both of them drive you completely around the bend if you spend too much time in the nether right, pigmen aren't aggro but um, if you attack one and don't kill it instantly it calls out and every other pigment within distance becomes aggro, which is loads of fun. And gas were those glowing balls that were shooting fire at us. Yes, that much fun. 
And loads of quartz here, excellent. Uh, okay. Where were we? We were talking about Kate, or Bob, which is short for Kate. Um, in the story, in the original Blackadder story, which is set in the Elizabethan era, sorry, it's the second series, set in the Elizabethan era, um, Kate, who is the uh, the daughter of a, a weak and feeble mad father, decides to, uh, go to go to London, disguise herself as a boy, and seek her fortune. Which she does by becoming Lord Blackadder's servant. And she instantly falls in love with him, which, to be totally honest with you, sounds almost impossible if you've met the guy. There uh, we go again. Let's lay some... Yeah, that'll get us a bit closer. Right, there's the source block. Yeah. One of the most annoying things in the nether is just these single blocks of lava that you find while tunneling around. Quite frankly, I think they've killed me more than anything else in the game. So, there we go. And I've launched yet another powered rail. Yeah! I'm really glad I laid all these out beforehand. It was really, really stupid of me looking back. Right, okay, so actually I've made this... Yeah, I'm going to have to go and relay this a little bit, but... Uh, never mind. So... That's high enough. That's one too low, so let's get that... Have it out a little bit. Oh, I just noticed my pick is getting a bit worn. State is it in? Yeah, it'll last the night. Right, okay, that's good. Um, that's most of the tunneling I need to do. <laughs> yeah, it's um um. It was the 1980s where they were refreshingly blunt when it came to humour. Or, oh, to be totally honest with you, they were blunt when it came to humour. It is still a really funny colony, yes. Um, it is the one where you find out, that, for example, that um, Dick Turpin is a woman who becomes insanely angry when faced with squirrels. And one of my favourite lines of all time. If you'll say that again, sir, by heck, I shall take me belt off and my trousers will fall down. And nobody wants that now, do they? Uh, I'm doing this wrong. I'm talking and not thinking. Story of my life, really. Let's cut that down. And let's cut that down as well. we go. And it's here that I want to do the tube deep one. That's good. Okay. Pull that hole in. Whoops. Okay, so let's get this last bit done, fill in a few holes, and then we're going to start laying some stone. <laughs> yeah, Chris, your memory quite fascinates me sometimes, I've got to be honest with you. There we go, All right. Um... Yeah, let's get some more powered rails down. Now I know what I'm doing.